back to my channel. It's been a while. Hey. We are currently driving um, through Oklahoma. I don't know like where in Oklahoma we are right now. We're like an hour outside of Oklahoma City. An hour and a half. Like an hour and a half outside of Oklahoma City. And we are on our way to the Grand Canyon. So we're super hyped about that. And I didn't tell anyone that we were going to the Grand Canyon on my channel. So it might surprise you guys. I drove like... Kirk has driven two, probably, you think? Like three. Like, and um, he's gonna drive a little bit more, probably until we have to get gas, and then I'll just start driving. But I don't, what? This is why I don't talk when you're vlogging. <laughs> okay, so I don't wanna like film, like some people do like a montage, I guess, of the road. Ah! That's dripping like Mountain Dew disgustingness all over his car. Mountain Dew disgustingness? Like I didn't just drink that. Yeah, but it, it gets sticky on the car. I don't want to film like the roads and stuff because it's really kind of boring. We're in Oklahoma and... Oklahoma's an awful state. Yeah, so sorry if you live in Oklahoma. I'm sure it feels like sucks. home to you, but... Move to somewhere else. Okay. So I think we are debating on if we should sleep in our car tonight or get a hotel. We're probably gonna get a hotel because we've been watching like Criminal Minds and stuff. And we're like kind of scared of getting murdered if we just sleep in our car. What, you're not scared? No. Then why won't you say, let's sleep in the car? I said, let's not sleep at a rest stop or like a rest area. Well, how we do we know? We sleep when... at like a camping site or something in the car. Where are we gonna find a campsite? I, I don't know. Okay, well, I'll update you on our sleeping arrangements. Um, so I guess next time you see us, we'll be extremely exhausted and it'll be dark outside and hopefully the light captures us. Okay, so we decided on a hotel. Yep. And um, there's nothing in this town. We're in Santa Rosa, New Mexico. And there's no vegan options. I actually got like Fruit Loops and then some like uh, a small bottle of almond milk and poured almond milk over that. And then I got some chips. He got McDonald's. This is what our little uh, motel looks like. Let me get a bit of this is my first motel I stayed in. I usually stay in hotels, and honestly, it's really not, like, it's fine. Don't you think? Yeah, it's good. It's a good for Bane for our buck. But tomorrow, I don't know what time we're getting up. We need to get up kind of early. Because we don't really have that lawn at the actual, like, Grand Canyon. We only have, like, two days. Like a day and a half, Like, yeah. like a day and a half. But, um, Yeah. Tonight I had to drive through a really scary storm in New Mexico. It was like 15 minutes outside of where we're at right, where we're at right now, but I was so terrified of hydroplaning and just getting in a wreck and it was completely dark, but the lightning was insane. And I'm terrified of tornadoes, which I knew there probably wasn't gonna be a tornado, but it still really freaked me out. And Kirk is just like, you're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> But yeah, that's the update. Um, anything else I should tell them? I would have drove if you would have pulled over, but you didn't want to pull over, so. Yeah, I was terrified. I didn't want to pull over. I just wanted to drive and get here and like be in a bed. <sighs> so yeah, and I'm pretty sure like I brought shorts and tank tops, but the weather's supposed to be in the 50s. So I think I need to go to Walmart and get some leggings, but there's no Walmart in this town, so we'll just find one tomorrow. But yeah, that's my update, and I'll vlog tomorrow morning, and I'll see you then. Okay, this is what New Mexico looks like in the daytime. Super, super pretty. We just uh, went through Albuquerque, New Mexico. And we're trying to get the Flagstaff because I'm trying to shop a little bit there. But look.
look, you can see little mountains in the back. It's super pretty. at Dutch Bros. Here it is. And the guy was super nice. He said that since we were new that we could have a drink for free. So we only had to pay like five dollars for a drink. Um, oh they have a natural groceries here. They have that Little Rock. Anyways in fact Flagstaff is very confusing and we're very frustrated and we keep getting lost and the GPS is like not it's like lagging but there's a lot of trees here. This whole entire trip we've seen like zero trees, but there's a lot of trees all of a sudden. We're like an hour away from the Grand Canyon. So that's exciting. Um, we tried to go to Chick-fil-A and it took us to a gas station. The GPS did, so that kind of pissed us off. So I think we're at like the point where we're kind of grumpy, but excited to be here. Kirk looks a little bit mad. I am Kirk, I'm a little bit mad. Yeah, so I'll update you on our campsite. Or right, next time you see us, our campsite will be up and ready. <laughs> right? Right. We made it. I'm talking to them. This is what our cars looked, at, looked like this whole entire time. It actually kind of looks like trash. Thanks. Hey, it's my stuff in your car. This is what our tent looks like. We just put it up. I don't even know if Kirk can honestly fit in this, but we're gonna be super cozy tonight. I made the bed. It's nothing like super cool, but it's our first time camping together, so we're kind of hyped. But yeah, we need to find the bathrooms because I have to go potty. Are you happy we made it, Kirk? Yeah. Yeah? You're not gonna face the camera? Yeah. Yeah. On the way here, I didn't film it, but there is moose, elk. Elk, some kind elk, of animal. Some type of elk, like everywhere, all on the roads and all on the side of the road. And we had to like break for them and they crossed the road. It was kind of cute. And um, pulling up to our campsite, there are a few just walking in other people's campsites. So I was like, if I wake up in the middle of the night and I see an elk, I might freak out. But um, I told Kirk if I wake up, he's waking up, so. <laughs> We're gonna Go find a bathroom. What else are we doing tonight? Eating food. Actually, one of these like campers are probably our neighbors. That's why they're here so late. It's only an episode of Tim. Craig, say hi. What? <laughs> that was not forced at all. <laughs> We just saw the Grand Canyon for the first time. Second time. It was my first time. It was pretty. And then we spent like $80 at the gift shop. And now we're eating in the parking lot before we go. Um, some, so where are we going? To all the outlooks on the Southern Rim. So I just wrote postcards to all of my friends. I'm sitting in the car at our campsite. Kirk is. You can't see him. He's so, I'll show you him in a second. Anyways, I got these postcards. They're extremely overpriced. But they're super cute and I got them for my friends. Back home. And I, I was gonna like take a picture of the Grand Canyon and sh like attach them to the postcard with the Polaroid picture of the Grand Canyon. But let me just show you these attempts. Three friends, so I was gonna take three different Polaroids. And obviously that one sucks. That one's kind of okay, but still sucks. And this one's the best one I got, but it's still kind of sucks. There he is.
We were gonna do stuff before we leave tomorrow, but the gas is very expensive here and it's like very far away. So we were like, it's like 30 minutes away before we get we can get gas, right? It's like an hour and a half away. Oh, well, <laughs> so we're like hammocking and chilling at their campsite before we have to leave in the morning. I think we're gonna get up early and just start on the road because it's such a long drive. And what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, there's also like a lot of construction going on right now, so there's not much for us to do. I mean, we like went to look out and it was extremely beautiful and stuff. There was a lot of lookouts that we couldn't go to because of the construction though. Yeah. Everything blocked off. Like a lot of it is like one lane traffic and like you have to, the flagger like flags you when you can go and stuff. But honestly, our campsite's one of my favorite things ever here because it's so peaceful and no one is here right now. Like there's a lot of tents set up, but no one is here because everyone's at the Grand Canyon. So yeah, I think I'm just going to hammock with him. And then we are two hours, like where we're from is two hours, but, or two hours ahead of where of Arizona. So I'm like honestly getting hungry for dinner and I don't know what time it is. It's like two o'clock. It's like two o'clock and I'm like. No, it's like, I don't know. I don't know, but I don't know. Probably an early night. Yeah. So surprise, Kirk and I decided to leave early and we're hitting up a coffee shop that we hit up on the, well, I don't know, is this a coffee shop or like a, would you call it a coffee shop? Call it a coffee shop. It's like posting on Instagram right now, like not paying attention to me. Um, it's called Dutch Bros and we came here on the way to the Grand Canyon and they gave us a free drink and they're really nice and then we are hitting it back up on the way home and they're really nice again, don't you think? Yeah. Butter line, yeah. Let's see what he's posting. Will you not? <laughs> Will I not? I just want to see what you're posting. Those pics though. Update. We're home. We got here like last night. And now we're about to go see a movie. We're gonna go see Deadpool 2. Um, so I'm just gonna end it. Thanks for coming along with us to the Grand Canyon. It was fun. Now we're extremely exhausted. It is rainy and hot in here. So yeah. Hopefully I'll upload a lot more often now because it's summer and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.